click on that. Uh, that should yes, that is now going live. Woohoo! Uh, I don't have a webcam set up. Fudge. I'm gonna go straight to the art screen. Yeah. Hello and welcome to the channel. I am the disembodied voice of Mad Cat, and today I'm going to be doing some art because I promised a friend I'd work on this, and then shit happened, and I haven't worked on it as much as I wanted to. I've sort of picked it here and there. And I'm like, no, I really need to pull my finger out my ass and work on this. So I'm working on it for her. Hey, oh, Seba, welcome on in. Welcome on in. Ooh, ooh I ain't wore this glove in a while. It's just yeah, dead spider on it. Wonderful. Anyway, pop the glove on so I can do this. So, yes, my friend did the line art for this. She's done all the drawing and stuff. I'm just colouring it as per what she'd like. Um. So that's what I'm pretty much planning to do. Uh, I just need to load up the colour map on a separate screen so I can see that. I might actually load that up so you can see what she wants me to do. So that's what she wants doing to it, uh, colour-wise. So actually, if I leave that... Right, no, wrong button. That one, control, W, there we go. F11, no, oh. Oh, that doesn't work in this one. Okay, double click it. No, I don't want to hold that one up. God damn it. That one. Yay. Right. Okay. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Uh, right. Uh, I've got oh God, I have all these monitors and I can't actually have one open that I need to see. I need that. Wait, no, no, don't put it onto the desktop. Oh God, I've just made a copy of it. No, I've just made a shortcut of it. No, what are you doing, Windows? Stop. 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 What are you doing? Right, ignore the bit that you can see that's me dragging the Windows preview onto the thing. It would disappear in a moment. I just need to get back to the stream chat, and I can click on that. Hello, Subasa. Hello. Yes, uh, one thing I completely forgot, Subasa, was the whole stream thingy that you're setting up was... Yeah, I forgot to... I need to move my streams from Thursday to Tuesday so we can fit that in on the Thursdays, because goddammit, I want to do that. Um, but by all means, crack on at 8 o'clock. I'll catch up later on. Um, I'm trying to think of the choices that were picked. Eh, I'll catch up with whatever I miss. Ah, right, cup of tea is acquired. I have music playing in my ears. By all means, feel free to pop your own music on stuff like that. Of course, I won't be playing it on stream because, you know, lols, copyrights. Um... I do need to see if I can track down some more of May and stuff. She's a very good singer. But as it stands, I've just got like them across from to your soundtrack playing. Which, oddly enough, I have heard numerous times, and I'm just like, eh, I'll put it on again. Right, okay. Uh, God, what the fuck? Oh, that, that's, that's where I left this. I just remembered now. So I got to this part. I had actually done a bit more, but evidently I didn't save it, which is depressing as all hell. Um, but yeah, I need to try and shade this hair. And I'm like, oh, I hate shading. Why? Why did I think this would be a good idea? Why? Oh, well, suck it up. Here we go. All right, so create a new layer. Then, uh, is my mouse cursor on the screen? I don't know if my mouse cursor on the screen. Oh, you can see that one. I don't know if you can see it when I hover over, but uh, it's kind of hard to tell because my OBS. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. So, yeah, what I'm doing is uh, new layer, and then I do this here which clips it to the layer below um so that if i went if i go to the right layer it won't go over into the red um right let's pick that pick that i know it's the same color but i'm just going darker with it i did just remember there is actually a color map you give me color map it's the one level color map this is why i like what she gave me she just So she wants that as a dark. So I'm gonna go for that. I want it about there-ish to start with because I want to do a mid-tone. But anyway. Um, hello, Panana. Welcome on in. Um, you see nothing. Uh, <laughs> um... 
So also the complete OST or bass season will deal with some those very hours. Very chill. Oh, it's good to have very chill music. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you sound like you enjoy like shading as much as you enjoy video editing. It's one of these things is when I get into the mood with it, um, I, I, I can just lose track of time. No problem. Um, but it's the getting into the mood. And as I said, I did actually do shading on the hair. But looking at this, it wasn't saved. And now I'm like, fudge. So I'm going to do it all again. Um, but, you know, that's it. Uh, I did a boy of dirty with my line art. Ah, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with the line art. In fact, it's very good line art. I wish I could kind of do it the same myself. I really should chuck you my line art to work on so you can neaten that up for me. Because uh, I, I can't get my lines this neat. Uh, good evening, my fox. Welcome on in. Um, but yes, I hope everyone is having a good evening this evening. Um, so on, let's just name this one dark. Because I don't know where I am. Or it's more of a mid-tone than a dark. But eh. um, Brush sizes, I need to reset. So I've been doing a few renders. And I decided to push my computer to see... Oh, is it doing that again? No, it's just being weird with the touch screen. Come on. What on earth? Oh, wait, wait. That's, that's why eyebrows is above her. I, I was getting utterly confused then. I'm like, why is it, what, what's, what? So yeah, that should now be beneath. Yes, there we go. So yeah, the eyebrow layer was above the hair layer, which was therefore causing issues because I, I just basically bleh, drew across with the eyebrows. I can get rid of that line there. Just um, that one there. Uh, be nice to cry over someone else's line up for a change. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm happy enough to chuck stuff your way because I, I'm not good at getting the line art sorted. This is very crisp and neat. I like it. Um, and it's kind of what I wish I could do with my line art. I'm just not good at it. So, yeah, I may may have to do that. Uh, I did a video of things I've been putting up for a while. Uh, oh, is that your um, ba -bam, ba -bam, uh, hang on, let my brain catch up. Because it's been a day and my brain has just gone oh, uh, subpar. That's the word I'm looking for, subpar. I kept thinking Robo Nerd, and I'm like, it's not Robo Nerd. It's, it's not Robo Nerd. It's, it's not that. You helped out with this. You should know this. But yeah, your videos are looking good. Towing a weird GPS radar across the ice. Oh, you're into Iceland now. Or not Iceland, but ice lands. Lands of ice. I do get the feeling that Iceland was named just to be inconvenient. Uh, pretty good here. Had a good bath. Uh, shaved my head, so all shiny. Ooh. Yeah, I, I know that feeling now. Oh, too well. It is nice to, you know... Have a good shave, have a good shower, and then you sort of get out and it's squeaky clean. It's like, ooh. Got some weird looks when I've done it in work, and I sort of washed my head as I got in to clear off like the road grime and stuff, so I'll stick my head in the sink. And then we had realizing someone else was in the bathroom there as well, so sort of stood up and rubbed my hand on my head, going, ee, 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 ee. noise. <laughs> and this other person just like looked over at me and I was like, oh yeah, hello. <laughs> Layers. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 this is this is baby layers at the minute as I try and figure out stuff and what I did before and jazz. Um, I have got better since I first started doing digital art. Um, I remember one of my Fate Stay Night pieces was ninety three layers, and that took an age to load. Um, but I think that was also when I was young and stupid, and I did crazy stuff like I think I spent like eight hours solid working on that um tend not to do that as much nowadays the jerseys are getting old unforgettable oh oh wait yes because I haven't coloured that in yet duh I was like wait why is it going over the red it shouldn't go up wait no that's that's fine that's fine no no it is wrong Fuck a duck. Ah. 
Can you see what I've done wrong? Where does it change? Is that as far back as it will go? Oh, I'm out of undoes. Oh on, I fucked up. Oh, right, come back. Right. So for those that might be wondering what the hell just happened, I was painting on the wrong layer. And it's just like, oh, fuck, crying out loud. <sighs> Thankfully, I hadn't got too far with it. I probably would have just broken down and cried. And breathe, yeah. Um, but I lose track after... Well, this is the thing, is I kind of lost track of what I was doing with it. And I think it was because I was still fairly new to digital colouring. I was very much uh, apprehensive about any major changes that I'd make or anything like that. So it was like, if I'm going to make a change, I'd sort of, okay, I've got that one on, and I want to do a bit on here, I'll make a new layer for doing it. Rather than just saying, well, this is going to be the same colour, it's going to be that. Um, so yeah, there was a lot of layers that just weren't needed. Um, I don't know if I actually uploaded it to DeviantArt. I think I might have done that. I might have to try and track it down. Hang on. Yep, oh, yep, will do. I shall get the copper going. Thank you very much for the posture check and redeeming of the beverage. Ah, good evening, uh, Kodo and Ragnarok. Welcome on in. Yes, yes, I'm doing art for a change. Shock and horror, I know. Um, what is this? What is this craziness? Uh, bu 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 ooh, yeah, yeah. One of these things where... I, uh, I probably should start up a new demon art for the other stuff I do. But ho oh, hum. Um, just have that fucking awful feeling. Is this actually broadcasting? And then I looked over, I'm like, no, it isn't. That's good. That's good. Uh, where's my digital art drawings? There we go. Ba, 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 ba. You can tell what I was into at the time, because uh, that's all the, the daily doodles I used to do at work. Which you now don't have time to do. Then a lot of pony stuff. Then a lot of ETCU, a crappy picture of me holding lightning. You know what? I I didn't actually upload it. Shock and horror. Oh wait, no, no, it's really. Wait, did I upload like a? Why is this tiny? I I think I broke it. There is an upload, yes, but it is absolutely tiny. I think I somehow managed to upload a thumbnail. I'm not quite sure how how I managed it, but yeah, it's... I don't know. No, 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 it says that it should be bigger. I just don't know how to make it bigger. Is it that one? No, it's not that button. I have no idea what DeviantArt's done. I generally don't really use DeviantArt that much anymore. I'm just going to try downloading it and see what I get. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? He says. Computer explodes. Actually, I shouldn't joke about that because no, my PC probably bloody would. Right. Are you a tiny, tiny little thumbnail? No, you're not. Uh, can I show this on Twitch? Technically, there's nothing showing. Um, and I suppose if I'm quick about it, then Twitch won't complain. Um, does Twitch mind if you show art? Because it's there's nothing anatomically showing, but they're not wearing clothes. Um... 
been picking up some more mex got some really nice uh, copper fits nice yeah for some reason i've got a lot of mechs to paint but it's going to be fairly easy because they're all going to be the same right anyway this is the image i was talking about that was 93 layers uh way back when when i did that uh i should have kept even are open because I could have told you when I uploaded that one but yes that was ancient um, and I'm looking at it now I'm just like oh my god the anatomy is fucking awful but oh hum we live and learn we live and learn uh, but yes I have got a lot better since, since then in terms of being able to layer and use the layers more effectively Um, it was also fun actually scrolling through I was looking through and there were um, the art that I did which my friend who's in Japan uh, Tachikoma he got me to go around to his university place because he, he was doing like 3D animation and he needed a character for it, so he asked if he could use this character I'd just randomly drawn pictures of, and I started drawing more of her as character art. And coming across some of them, it just reminded me of all that. Um, but through him, I met his uh, flatmate, uh, who was a massive Fate fan as well, which was kind of handy. Uh, he wasn't big into figures until he met me. Um... So it's fun. Not bad. Um, but bless him. He's, he's a great lad. Um, and yeah, it, it's from there. It's I started doing stuff like going to conventions and you know meeting people, dressing up as anime characters. I actually used to dress up as male characters if you can believe it. And I know Pen and I can, but uh, yeah, it's. Uh, for those that probably came along to me later in my, you know, anime con going time, you might be shocked to know that I actually cosplayed men. Um, so yes. It was just fun looking at the Demon Art page going, God, I remember drawing that. I can't tell you what I did last week, but I can tell you what <laughs> I remember drawing that ages ago. So yeah, definitely short term memory issues. I get to be a grandpa and go, I can't remember what I had for lunch last week. I then have to sit back and say, did I actually eat lunch last week? Probably not. I have a nasty habit of doing that. I'll forget to eat lunch and then I'll just eat shit when I get home. And I'm like, yeah, not exactly the best in terms of diet, but eh, that's nothing new for me. Mad cat not being a magical girl or a cat girl. Heresy. Oh, yeah, yeah, it happened. I mean, technically I was magical, because, you know, one of them was archers, so, uh... uh cosplaying male characters, not by choice. The the thing that kind of annoyed me with archers was I couldn't get the hair right. Um, just not having hair that worked for doing archer. And at the time, finding a white wig was a pain in the ass, so... And then I discovered the joys of strike witches and how people tended to notice more when I did that. And the reactions, the reactions were the gold part of it. I mean, it was always great doing uh, daily room door duties where you have to check the badges of people dressed as a strike witch. Ah, uh, good times. Or inadvertently flashing Monica Real. Whoops. Oh, the cosplay, uh, not the cosplay, the charity auction. I don't mean, that was fun. Having people pay me to keep bidding because every time I raised my arms to bid, it flashed the uh, auctioneer. Good times. Eating something is better than eating nothing. True, true. I mean, I try and vary it up and be healthy from time to time, but I'm one of these people, I don't particularly like apples. The, the, the actual texture of them I don't particularly like. Never been that great on oranges, 
Bananas I love. I'll happily eat bananas. So it's like the only fruit I really go out and buy is banana. So I don't want to eat too many of them. Um... And a lot of like the healthier food stuff just tastes so bland to me. It's a chore to eat. Um, I did have vegetables the other day and they just went through me like a dose of salts. Because vegetables do. So uh, it, it's a weird thing. I can have foods that normally make people have trips to the loo. And I'm like, I'm fine with that. But give me healthy food. And my body's like, nope, can't have this healthy stuff. What is it? What is this health food and why are you feeding it me? Uh, flashed the smallest pair of Shima fan. True. Yep. 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 Um, yeah. Trauma. I, I, it was visual trauma to some people. I mean, I, I remember standing at the dealer's room door and there was this uh, adorable little lass came in to uh, uh, go into the dealer's room and she sort of stood there with a hand raised at a sort of crotch height so she couldn't see anything. So I started jumping up and down in front of her. Um, you know, because I'm that kind of guy. Don't think I've ever had a mango. I mean, I've seen men mango ah when they see me, but that's not quite the same mango we're going on about. So yes, I'm, I'm also hoping to be heading back up north in October. Um, I need to sort out the coach tickets. It's going to be a coach because train is stupidly expensive. Uh, and I can't fly up because I'm hoping to do some airsoft with one of my friends. So it involves taking up replica firearms. And despite the fact that, you know, I painted one of them bright effing pink... I can still imagine it causing a bit of a stir on an airplane, you know, in like the luggage hold or whatnot. They'll be like, what the hell are you transporting? So, coach it is. Um, but yes, I shall ha do my best to try and get out to your way, Panana, as well, if I can. Because it'd be great to see you again. And also, next Thursday, I won't be streaming. Um, putting this up because I just remembered this one. Uh, Works having a sponsored charity walk thing for um, one of the homeless charities that the company's decided to support. Um, now, they have got a Just Giving page, um, which they released to the staff. So I've asked if I can get hold of that so that if people wish to, they can donate that way. I'm not asking people to donate, it's just if you wish. Um, the option will be there. Um, it's a five-mile walk. Um, don't know where they're planning to do it in Plymouth, but we're going to be doing that. Um, I'm hoping to be able to get uh, that permission to be able to do it in some kind of fancy dress. Because I figure, you know, if you're going to do a charity walk, you, you do it daft. Um, and you all know me when it comes to fancy dress. Um, but it all depends on what they say on that one and how that turns out. Uh, but I'll, I'll keep everyone up to date on how that goes. Um, I'll probably end up getting pictures, posting it to the Instagram kind of gubbins. That's, that's what the kids do nowadays, isn't it? Um, but yeah... The chances are that I won't make it back from that uh, in time to stream. But I have the Friday booked off because I needed to use time up at work. So I could probably stream for a bit more on the Friday. I uh, don't know what the Epic Games will be at that point. Will it say now? That's an idea. Let's have a look. Because I know this week, the Epic Games, there's, um, uh, depending where you go, I can meet you in Brum or thereabouts. I don't think I'll be stopping in Brum, at least not on the way up. I'll have to see about what I'm doing in terms of travel. Um, but no, I'm going a lot further up than Brum, Sabre. 
um, Liverpool is still just as shite as it was the last time I was here. Uh, look, it, it can't be any worse than Accrington, okay? <laughs> I can quite happily say that. Uh, let's have a look. So, oh, it actually does tell me what the next weeks are. So this week's there's Gloomhaven and Ark Survival Evolved. Um, now, I know Caron's not streaming, and I was thinking of maybe doing Ark, but then I remembered my last playthrough on Ark was basically trying to herd dino poop and getting killed by do uh, i'm not gonna say something completely wrong dodos is what i want to say um if you know what i was gonna say by all means feel free to keep it to yourself um but uh it's one of those things i might just pick something else to stream um the other free games for the week after is runbow which yeah and the drone racing league nothing particular Particularly entertaining in my mind. I'm so glad Chiron's the one that's decided to do that because I'm like, yeah, no, let's do that. Um, so yeah, it's it's yeah, I'm not really looking forward to uh, week after next. But on the, as I said, I'm off on that Friday after the walk, so I could probably do a stream earlier on the Friday. Um. But yeah, as to this Friday, which is tomorrow, I have to remind myself that. Tomorrow, woohoo! Friday! Woohoo! Um, can do a variety of things depending on what people want, because Caron's not around, he's gotten a prior engagement to go somewhere. Can't remember what he said. Um, but yeah, he's, he's not around, so I'm probably going to be streaming for a bit longer. Um, so there is stuff like Soul Fairer, um, or if people want stuff that's a little bit more upbeat. Um, there is American Truck Sim, which is slightly different to Euro Truck Sim. Uh, but again, that's another one where if people have the game, they can happily join in. Uh, there's... Da -da -da -da. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, Derail Valley, if people want to watch me drive a train badly and, you know, make stuff explode. Uh, I'm sure I could manage that. Uh, what else? Da, 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 brain. I actually wrote a list of it and I can't remember what it is now. I'd like a list of ready installed games. I'm like, I could do that. I can't remember if I said Wildlands, but Wildlands is an option. Um, oh, fuck, I didn't want to do that. Uh, State of Decay. Um... Because if anyone's got that, by all means, I've now figured out how to do the multiplayer aspect of. Me and Caron have been doing a bit of that. Um, and his driving is just as it always is. Um, absolutely terrifying. Uh, I'll tell you, Razor is on sale on Steam. Ooh, if that's the one I... F I think I've got one on my witch, witch list. <laughs> wish list. Because, yeah, I've used the wish list as a glorified... You know sales announcement so when it goes on sale i can be like Woo! um i'll have to seek i can't really be spending too much cash on games uh one because i've got to buy my tickets to get back to north but two i also had to pay for um servicing to the bike i put it in because the brakes were sticking and i couldn't figure out how to make them stop so I, back at the start of the month i had a word and they're like oh we've got a huge waiting list it's going to be like mid-month before we can see you i was like that's no worries i'm no rush and then the day before I was going to put the bike in, I'm cycling into work and the rear wheel starts sounding crunchy, very crunchy, just as it turns. And I'm like, if, you, if I've got a place to guess on anything, I think a bearing's just gone. Um, so, uh, pop that in. And yep, I was right. A bearing had decided to eat itself. But considering that it hadn't been replaced since I bought the bike, it's done fairly well. Um, but yeah, it wasn't just the brake pads that had gone. Um, the cables had stretched, which I kind of thought they would have done, but because you know cables always stretch. Um, the rotors, uh, so because I've got disc brakes, uh, the actual disc rotors had gone. Um, they were very worn. I just thought they were covered in brake dust, but no, it was like, no, that's worn. Um, but again, they hadn't been replaced since I got the bike, so they'd seen a lot of use. Uh, but all told, it was quite an expensive thing for what i thought would be a very cheap easy fix um 
So that's eaten slightly into the PC fund as well because I kind of needed to. I was like, oh, shite. But with that, that is more of a necessity because that is my my travel. Um, and I suppose in a way it's slightly less than it would be if I had a car. I guess. Uh, yeah, the bearing just started to eat itself, Saber. Um, just be aware the deluxe version does not include the season pass. Ooh, that's weird. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Um, off to set up the anime club. By all means, yep, I will catch up with that as soon as I can. Um, need to start work on the Urban Met K9, do more work on my Game of Thrones stuff as well. More K9s. We need more K9s. I mean, it should come as no surprise, but the next time we do Battletech, you can imagine what army I'm going to be fielding. Um, I should not tempt you with Riser then. Yeah, I said at the minute. Um, it is on the wish list as far as I'm aware. So, when I have funds and it's on sale, I can grab it then. But as it currently stands, I mean, I've also got a bucket load of games where I'm like, I need to finish them. I've bought games and they just sat there and I'm like, I really should try, I don't know, finishing games. It's like I've been playing a bit of Spirit Fairer off stream, but it's it's a good game. But the subject matter at times, I do feel like I'm probably best to stream, maybe to cope with it. Um, but it is very good. Um, and I also feel the the boat management, the buildings and stuff like that, where you've got to work out how they all fit on your ship and all that. I feel that that's definitely up Caron's street with his uh, Resident Evil 4 playthrough with his inventory management. That room, I think, I can't remember if he's actually got it or not, but if he hasn't, I might actually see about grabbing it for him at some point. But there is like a, a it's almost like a parody game that someone's made, which is the Resident Evil 4 inventory management, but it's just a game based on that. Uh, I'm so bad for finishing games. <laughs> I think it's just like that because they're so easy to get now and you know in terms of you know just go on steam and grab it and also the fact that we have jobs and we can just buy it you know it's not like going ma'am can i have that and you're not allowed it um it's a blessing and a curse because now we're like we get all these games and then we never finish them because a new game comes out and it's it's like some kind of computer game add you know, we're easily distracted by the new shiny. You know, it's like there's a game that's um, probably boring to most people, but I just like the look of it because it just seems interesting um, for kind of the weird stuff that I do, is like a construction simulator. Um, and it just, to me, it just looks like it's another chill-out game like Truck Sim. And the saving grace to it is it's come out at like 30 quid and I'm like, well, I mean, it looks like it's worth it. But at the same token, I can just say, well, 30 quid's too much at the minute. I'll wait till it goes on sale and, you know, get it later on when I have more free time. But it's a game like that where it's like Druxin where I've, I've put so much time into it. And it's not a game you really finish as such. There's no objectives. But it is just so chill just to hop in a truck and drive. But I do like story games as well. I keep looking at the um, Mass Effect pack. And as soon as I say that, I'm like, I need to finish Andromeda. I never finished that. I just remembered that one. Whoops. Andromeda wasn't that bad, actually. I kind of enjoyed that. Um, Herbie's laughs in clan tech. Ha. Yeah, but for the cost of your, like, singular... Thor, you can have 11 herbies. Most uneatable necklace to use. I'm assuming you mean unbeatable? 
I mean, the most uneatable is any mech made out of metal. Uh, I inhaled and drove it like a fine wine. Aren't you supposed to drink wine? Is that where I've been going wrong all this time? But yeah, I enjoyed Andromeda. I suppose it's because I didn't really have high expectations because I'd played Mass Effect 3 and the endings were... Mm. Yeah, the, the endings for Mass Effect 3 were... What what, what flavour of, you know, colour filter do you like? And it, that was just like a, such a kick in the teeth. But I also remember that um, Deus Ex... Uh, was it Human Revolution, I think it was? That that had something like that. Uh, originally, you had a very, very crappy, you know, what flavour ending do you wish, press button to receive. And they sort of improved it with the director's cut. I remember it being slightly better. Um, still wasn't great, but it was a hell of a lot better. Um, but yeah, Mass Effect 3 kind of jaded me, so I never worried too much about paying attention to Andromeda. But I played Andromeda because it came out cheap and I was like, you know, this isn't actually that bad. Uh, ah, your boy Oliver. Hello. Welcome on in. Join me as I'm just doing some uh, colouring. Um, oh, the actual line art drawing on this is not mine. This is Penana's art. Uh, I'm just helping colour um, because I was silly enough to say, yes, I'm the one who will colour this. Um... Fleas. I don't have any fleas. Wait, I don't have any flea mechs. Mech fleas. I don't have them. But I've got herbies. I have a case of herbies. I should really see a doctor about that. Um, real talk, I'm going to play Mass Effect for the romance options. Yeah, well, why not? It's, you know, a valid thing to play the game for. I mean, saving the whole universe is... Kind of a bonus, I guess, but... You know, I enjoy the fact that I can play the games differently each time, and... and... Uh, the story side is what I like. Um, just being able to enjoy the stories that come from the different characters and such. And it's it's interesting. It is like, you know, a very interactive show at that point. You know, you can be like, no, don't go with her, she's the one that backstabbed you. You could be like, ah, I'm actually going to control this. But, I mean, to be fair, with the first three games, there's only really one valid option. So, it is a bit of a bore. Um, the only romance I'll ever have. Hey, I'm with you on that one. Garrus, yep. Yep, you got it, my girl. You got it. Uh, just give me added with your post lasers. Those things are nuts. I was trying to think, what, what army would I raise which wouldn't be Herbies? And also, not Mad Cats. Hollanders. Give me a squad of Hollanders. For no other reason that I just find them funny. That that's pretty much how I do most of my armies in BattleTech is is what makes me giggle looking at them. Um, he's currently playing Aim Labs. <laughs> my aim is awful. I won't admit mine's any great. It's I'm all right at them, but I'm not like a pro gamer kind of person. Um, and there's times where I'm like, ah, oh, I'm good at this. I can quite happily, you know, shoot this. And I'll put rounds either side of it. I was playing uh, State of Decay the other day with Caron. And my God, I took four shots at a zombie and missed all four. And I'm like, what just happened to my aim? Like earlier on today, I was like headshotting every single zombie. And then this one zombie, because of the way it was moving and the fact that my brain was not communicating to my hand properly, it was putting around either side of its head every single time. I'm just like, nope. <laughs> Uh, the Manganel. There is that. I will say that the Manganel's one where... I'd have to see more of it to really appreciate its its glory. Um, 
Whereas the Hollander, uh, it's it's going back to Mech Commander days and remembering the, the CG, uh, the CGI that they had for it all. And yeah, the, the Hollander is is we used to refer to it as the One Tip Wonder because it's just a Gauss rifle sticking out the side of the the uh, right hand side torso, if I remember rightly. Um, and it's effectively all that it has. It, it's in a way, it's like the um, the A10 Warthog. Uh, it's it looks like a mech that's built around a gun rather than anything else. You know, they had this gun, they went, let's find something to move it. Ooh, that's... A bit worrying, really. I mean, I've had you know, to get into physical complications before, but it's just one of those I'm not much of a fighter. I've never really managed to do much with it. Apart from usually injuring myself. But I have had my moments where, you know, I've come across... A lot of it was in school. I mean, I remember one. Um, there was a guy who was picking on one of my friends because he was short, so he thought it'd be fun to pick on him. And then he decided being an asshole, I ended up throwing him over my shoulder, um, doing just chucking him straight across the grass, and I was just, it came out of nowhere really. Um, so I've had moments, but I've, I've mellowed out a lot more as I got older, which is always a good thing. Uh, Hag 40 Watson art to love. True. Um... Broken someone's nose before you do they deserve it. You put a Snapchat story making fun of my mate that that ooh. Yep, that that's that's absolutely deserved. So yes, so you know, that's I can imagine I can see why you said that it was fun. Uh, probably some more cathartic. So yeah. Whilst, you know, I, I won't condone violence, I will sort of say good on you. Right. This is the part where I really should have zoomed out at some point and had a better look at what I'm doing to better understand it all. Uh, no, it should still be okay because I'm going to have. Hang on, so there's going to be shade coming from that. I'm going to have the shade coming over there at least. So let's. Drop that down there. That hair is going to be further back, so let's make that a bit darker. Let's do the same with that a bit. Things going forward. It's a bit further back, so let's drop that out. That's quite a bit further back, so we'll drop the shade a bit further back on that one. Nope, oh, wrong one. Oh. Why do people think they are invincible on the internet? Yeah, it's it's the whole. There's a screen between me and you, uh, therefore I can say what I want. And it's amazing what happens when you see them in person. They're like, oh uh, but no, I didn't. Uh. Uh, remember when I was thirteen, fourteen? Some kid who was sixteen said, oh, "Look, he's nose." So I punched him in the nose and said, "Look at yours, it's red." Oh, you're right. Yes. 
I had a friend who was uh, picked on quite heavily because of that as well, so... Um, don't really get in arguments on the internet. I <laughs> just troll them, it's hilarious. That's the best way. It, it's, it's one of the things where I... I see it a lot in YouTube comments, which is kind of the reason I actually look at YouTube comments, despite the cesspit that they tend to be, is it is kind of hilarious just looking and finding those who are either trying to start a fight on the internet or just trying to troll and get people to bite with it. And it's the people who reply to them that are brilliant. Um, but yeah, fighting on the internet is it, it, it's just an absolute waste of time, effort, energy and mental health, really. Um, it it don't do anyone any favours to argue on the internet. Uh, uh, pick battles carefully when you do go photo. There is that. Uh, I mean, I... Again, it's one of these things where even if it's on the internet, I try not to think about it. But I have had moments where it's been sort of in person. And they've done stuff. I'm also like the, the... Oh, God, I remember being stuck on the train to Southampton. The guy was conspiracy nut. And I was just like, why why, why are you sat here? Why, why are you even here? And he started on his ramblings of conspiracies and all that... And it's one of those where I could have corrected him. I could so happily have done so. But I was so in amazement that these people exist. You know, it wasn't just a thing of the internet. There was actually someone out there who believes, quite seriously, that there is a tunnel between London and Washington, D.C. That they have uh, a train that runs between so that the governments can convene in secret. In the back of my mind, I was like, so if it's such a big secret, how do you know about it? You know, they have weather control. That's why we were having bad weather at that time. Not not because, you know, historically we've had bad weather at that time of year. No, 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 it's, it's weather control. And I, it was one of those moments where I was just so stupefied to actually meet someone like it. I was just like, what? Um... Uh, I love Discord mods because of it, yeah. Facebook comment pools are weak. Uh, it's, I don't go on Facebook that much anymore. Uh, kicking Mustang best trial ever. Uh, got message. Yep, no worries. By all means, do what you need to do. Uh, yeah, if you have uh, psychology, it's hard to do. True. It, it is. It is one of those things where it actually took me having counselling to learn to walk away um, because uh, a lot of my issues stemmed from things on Facebook and all sort of jazz um, and it, it it wasn't just a case of I walked away and I never went back to it. it it took a lot to actually stop using it to stop paying attention to it um, and I fully appreciate that it's not easy for everyone as I said I, I, I was having counselling and that was what helped get me through it. Um, yeah, so anyone who can turn around and say, oh, I just stopped using it without having to need to do that is obviously very strong. Um, and I applaud them for it. Um, but also at the same time, I, I fully get when people are like, I can't, I can't just stop using it. You know, the, there are reasons why. And I'm like, you don't need to explain reasons to me. Um, I, I had difficulties and reasons and all sorts of jazz. And uh, I, I fully appreciate it how difficult it can be. Um, and I won't bother going into the, the sub story of everything that happened to me. I think most people here already know it. Um, but it, it is one of those things where I can quite happily say just shit canning Facebook has been a huge help for me. Um, I think Facebook now, I only use it if I go on there to check if anyone's prodded me for anything and because my Instagram will post 
images onto it. I go on there just to see what people have said and you know, reply to folks. But as to browsing it, yeah, I haven't done that in yonks. Been tempted. It's almost like an addiction, I guess. Um, got a shoes to work. No worries, Ragnarok. Thank you for popping around. Uh, it's been great having you in. Enjoy work as much as you can. Uh, we've got things to work on. Uh, I got a lot better as I got it. Yeah, it, it's it kind of helped mellowing out a bit. Getting an old fart has helped me. Um, I was in a mental hospital and nearly got arrested. Ooh. But on the plus side, you didn't get arrested. So look on the positives. Um, but I said, at least, you know, from the sounds of things, you know, piecing up what I've got just from what you've said in chat and stuff like that, you know, you certainly getting a grip on things um and you, you've got the help you need by the sounds because you're getting you said you have to take medicine i'm assuming could be wrong uh that that is for this issue um but it, it's it's one of those things where you know hey everyone has got issues with their mental health I, I don't think anyone can turn around and say i don't have mental health issues because everyone's got mental health the actual health of your mind and from time to time there will be issues with pretty much everyone um, I just wish there wasn't that much of a stigma to it. Because that was half the problem that led me down the dark road, was just, it felt bad to talk. Um, you know, and also having a very dark sense of humour. I remember a short while back I was having a really rough time with a new flatmate. Um, they were making a lot of noise, I couldn't sleep. Um, and uh, yeah I went down to the local park just to get out the house clear my mind um, stop having the thoughts I was having and I thought you know what? I'll ring the Samaritans I could do with talking just just talking getting stuff off my mind um, just so that my mind wasn't overthinking stuff couldn't get through to the Samaritans they were all busy and my dark dark mind was just laughing like Jesus Christ it's so bad not even the Samaritans want to speak to me um, but that's my dark sense of humour. But yeah, if if you struggle, um, one thing that I'll say, and it's brilliant advice because it's free, is if you've got people you can talk to, just have a chat. It doesn't need to be about whatever issues it is, just, just talk. You know, I found chatting to my friends about random crap that we did just helped relieve issues on the mind. Um, and I said if you've got someone who knows you and you're happy to talk about stuff like that even better but just talking can help and I said it's, it's not just for yourself there it was one of those um, general piece of advice for everyone really you know talking is a free medicine Uh, only send messages on Facebook, it's the video clip, Discord. Yeah, Discord doesn't do that. Uh, take meds for it. Hey, um, I'm with you on that one. I take meds. Uh, they give me really messed up dreams. Um, but looking back, I know how bad I was off the meds. So I have to accept that they're a necessary evil at the minute. Uh, locked in one of them straight jackets. Ooh, yeah. Um, ooh, free hugs. Yay! Hugs all around. Uh, but yes, thank you for the offer, sir. So it's one of the things that I like about streaming is, you know, occasionally I can just sit here and yap. It doesn't necessarily have to be about particular issues that I've had. I feel like I'm a lot better at talking about issues now um, you know there's still still things that I struggle with but that's what my counsellor is there for um, good counsellor it's one of these annoying things where it's a shame I have to pay for it but you know I, I'd get at most six was it six months I think it is uh, free counselling if I wanted that, but then that would be it, that'd end. 
Um, and whilst I have to pay for this counsellor, it, it helps. It, it's, you know, I've come leaps and bounds. I mean, even as one of the uh, big wigs at work came in, um, who's been, he's been aware of my case for a while. And he was saying that it's from the last time he was down, which was mid-2021. You know, he's seen a vast difference uh, in the way I am, uh, the way I look at work, the way I conduct myself at work. Um, so he's like, you know, whatever your counsellor's doing, he says, just keep going with it, it's working. Uh, gathers with into a hug pile. Yay! But yeah, it, it, with meds, it's a, I think a lot of it as well boils down to the the stigmatism of it. It's like, ooh, medication, ooh, you don't want that. And I'm like, well, no, because meds help. You know, I, I, it, it's generally one of these things where I, 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 I feel, again, that meds, the benefits of should be promoted a lot more. Um, I mean, they have side effects, which is a nightmare, yes. I fully agree with that. I said, mine... Weird dreams, uh, memories, I should say. They're not dreams, because a lot of the time I wake up and remember them. Um, and they can be very bizarre, vivid, crazy. But I also know that from before then, when I wasn't taking medication, or I was taking the wrong medication, that was even worse. Um, you know, when you... When you're getting yourself to fall asleep by deciding which way you wish to die, that's that's a bad sign. Um, when the only way that you could make your brain calm down was to plan your end, you know, uh, it's a kind of a huge warning sign, which I, I was just ignoring. It, it was, at that point, normal for me uh, to go to bed and I'd be like, how do I want to die? Oh, yeah. I think I'll plan it this way. And I, I'd just sit there and just let my mind plan. Um, and there'd be sometimes outrageous plans, sometimes very valid and appropriate plans. But that was how I used to wind down. That's how my mind used to shut up. Um, yeah. Don't do that as much now. I won't say don't do it at all, but... Don't do it as much. Um, it is a case of noticing it. Um, uh, oh, you have to take them during the... Yeah, mine I have to take first thing in the morning, which is bloody awful because I, I have to have an alarm go off to remind me to take them in the morning. So I have an alarm to wake me up, so an alarm to wake me up in bed, an alarm to get out of bed, and an alarm to take my tablets. Because if I don't, I'll forget. And if I forget, it doesn't hit me that day, but the next day I feel like shit. Even if I take a tablet the next day, it's like the, the effects of it roll into the next day, and it's fucking awful. Um, but yeah, I, I think one thing that my counsellor has mentioned is I think everyone has at times, thoughts on how they plan to die and all sort of stuff. So it's not to think it's abnormal, but it is one to be aware of that if you find them thoughts are getting worse or they are the comforting thoughts for you, um, in all seriousness, you know, find someone to talk. Even if you can't find any of your friends, um, I'm not exactly sure whereabouts you are, but have a look up for free helplines. Because uh, like in England, you've got like Samaritans, just talk to, you've got people there who they will listen to you and you can talk crap i mean i I've, I've talked crap to the samaritans before um about all sorts of random stuff and what i've found is it's less them talking to you to help it's more you talking and hearing yourself and going hang on a minute that don't sound right um but as I was saying, then the counselor, you know, she says it's thing pretty much everyone will go through at some point is they'll have a thought of, oh, wish we weren't here. Um, it's just if that thought gets any worse, you know, never feel that 
taking a life is the way to go. You know, I've, I've made that mistake. I fucked up. Um, but I attempted it. And it's left me in a really crappy position at the minute. Because of it. And I'm just trying to live and rebuild from there. Um, so I'd hate for anyone else to end up going there. Um, so, yeah. If it gets to that stage, you know, please, please just find someone to to talk to. Um, and you'll find that it isn't the end of it then. Um, th there is always a day to follow. Um, uh, it's important to know when things are not normal. Yep. And normal in the quote, yeah. Because what in the end, what is normal? But yeah, uh, down the side path. So I just feel like killing everyone. But at least it's diagnosed. Let's look on the positives here. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it's a difficult one. Um, I don't have any experience with that, so I, I'm not sure if anything I could say would help, or if I'd be talking up my ass to you. Um, quite easily could very well be the latter um, but you know positives are always a good thing to look at so if you sort of say no oh, I've been diagnosed as it at least you're diagnosed at least there is awareness of it um, and there's things that can be done um, and again it will come down to yourself you know yourself more than anyone else um, so if you know that you're having a bad day you know you know that you've got you can look for that support, you can find the support, and you know that there is a diagnosis there. So it could be, oh, I've got this. It could be related to that, and they can look to proceed from there for you. Um, uh, I just want to tell someone else out loud really compounds what you're saying. Yeah, it's, it's a weird thing. Um, and it's not like talking to yourself because you talk to yourself, you talk and say what you want to hear. Uh, talking to somebody else and they'll ask a question and then you've got to answer it. And it's as you answer this question that you haven't come up with, you suddenly realise, oh wait, that's that's not right. Um, and I said it's been one of the, the glory things of like ringing for help is it's give me that soundboard to bounce off. Um, and I'll say, the first time I rang the Samaritans, I felt like I was wasting their time. Uh, I, I genuinely felt awful for ringing them. And the person on the other end of the phone was just like, no, it's what we're here for. You know, you, you, you ring us. You know, it's like, at this moment in time, he said, you are the one that needs help. It's, it's no one else. You know, it's you that need help. You've got me. We're talking. We're going to get you through this. Um, and yeah, it was just talking, getting through getting rid of thoughts, theories, I'm going to say before I forget, um, bouncing off someone who isn't yourself is fantastic. Um, constantly break things down and look for the positives, stops me on desperation, anxiety is true. And that is a very tough skill, so Oliver, yeah, it's, I, I'm fully with you. I, a lot of my problems stem from seeing negatives. Um, a lot about myself, um, and again, this is something that my counsellor has, has dug into deep, um, and it's, a lot of it stems from growing up feeling that way, and it, it became normal to think negative, and it is so hard to break. I've been with this counsellor now for, oh, I think about three years. And I still struggle to always see positives. Um, I'm better. I'll give it that. I've got a lot better at it. But I'll still see negatives. I'll still be very negative about myself. I'll struggle off the top of my head to think positive. I have to really put my mind to it. Um, it is a difficult thing to break. Um... And it's one of those where I couldn't give you a magic cure-all for it. 
Um, I generally couldn't turn around and say, oh, well, this is how you do it. This is how you break it, because I, I haven't broke it. Um, it, it, it. And as Penel says, yeah, it, looking at the negatives is it's almost like an ingrained survival thing. It's, it's why your brain goes to it easier. Um, and it's stuff like, oh, uh, what was it? I'm trying to know what my counsellor said. It, it's your brain will pick up on negative words more than it picks up on positives. So it's like if someone said to you, do not go outside, your brain would pick up on the not and go, oh, right, well, okay, and remove that word and then just hear, do go outside. So you have to, to sort of almost give your brain commands in a positive way, like stay indoors. Um, and it, that's just like a, a brief example off the top of my head because a lot of the stuff my counsellor said, my, my memory doesn't work that well. Uh, hey, kids, don't overdose. Um, but that is like one of the basic ones that I remember. Um, and it's one of those things that your brain will pick up on the negatives, and sometimes it will lock onto that negative and hold it, and that will be its focus. And other times it will pick it up and go, Oh, I shouldn't pay attention to the negatives, and it'll put it to one side, and therefore you get the wrong command. Again, going back to the do not go outside turns into do go outside. Um, but yeah, it is so very hard to not think in a negative way, to, to actually have positive outlooks on things. Um, it's going to sound awful, but all I'm going to say is it can be done, but it is a tough and long road, but try your best not to feel like you can't do that. Um, it, if I'd love to say, and it's going to sound shit, so I apologise in advance, this is going to sound very crappy of me but if my sort of semi-brain damaged way i can slowly get used to it i'm sure anyone can um and i have faith in you out there that you can do that you can work through this it's tough it's hard but you'll get there um and when you get there you'll look back and you'll be like holy shit just look how far i've come um and i'm only saying that because i can do that i can look back over the past two years and go shit i've Come from, you know, trying to take an overdose and walk off a cliff to being, well, a streamer. Um, okay, I won't say I'm massive, massive streamer, but I'm streaming to people out there. You know, I'm meeting friends and chatting to folks online. Um, I would never have thought I could ever, ever do this. Um, because I always think, I'm like, shit, I can't really do that. Uh, no one's going to want to watch me do this. I'm boring. I've got a dull voice. I'm... Uh, I'm not interested. And these were all thoughts that would trundle around my head quite happily. Um, and to be fair, they still do at times. Um, there are days where I don't stream when I'm supposed to because my brain has gone into a utter shit zone. Um, and I'm not in a mental mood to stream. Um, but I look back at it and I say that I have improved a lot. I have got to the stage where I am. Um, but it is very hard to break that. Uh, and I'm not going to lie to you on that one. It is not an overnight thing. Um, it is tough. But when you start making those little changes, those little changes will... When you see what that happens when you make the little changes to... You do one or two positive things and you look at them positive. You then... You see the difference that makes and it makes the next step easier. And then the next step is easier because you've done two steps. And then because you've done two steps, the next four steps are easier. And it just starts piling up. But it's it's the initial looking and saying, actually, I'm going to be positive about this. Instead of saying today was shit, you sort of sit back and think, what was good about today? And that is hard. That My counsellor asks me that every meet. What, what was good about the week you had? Uh, and it's difficult for me because one, my memory is my short term memory is definitely shot. Um, it, I struggle to remember things, um, but I struggle to remember positives because I'll, I'll, I'll horn in on the negatives far too much. And it, it is a thing where she's she asks me to make me remember. Um, so so to think what happened today that was good, and it could be something as simple. But when I first started doing this. My good thing was I got out of bed. I woke up and I got out of bed. And it could just be something as simple as that. And then from there on, the day just moved. Because after my suicide attempt, I, getting out of bed was a challenge. Um, you know, it, it's... 
it's one of these things where when you plan to kill yourself and you go ahead with it and then you black out and as far as I was concerned I went to the park I felt a bit tired I closed my eyes I woke up in hospital that was it I had no idea anything about what happened after I passed out um but I know that I woke up in hospital and I felt like shit not because I'd attempted but because I'd failed and getting through that the, the the weeks after that were an absolute nightmare um so yeah getting out of bed was deemed a positive just waking up and getting out of bed um and going from there it'd be stuff like I went to the shops today and I bought the milk I needed and then I started going back to work again and it was like I went to work and I managed to go into the office without breaking down in a mad anxiety induced panic um and uh yeah it, it's going to be tough but you will find those positives and then you'll be able to build upon them um and, and as i said once you start building on them, you look back and you think holy crap i can do this i can do this and you will power through it at that point when you when you turn around and you see the positives you will realize you can power through it and you will be on a road to recovery um unlike anything you've ever been on before you might still need the meds i mean i said i'm still on the same bloody meds i was put on but they just help take the edge off and allow you to focus um so yeah sorry i rambled like crap on this but um it's just one of those things where looking back at how i was um you know it's seeing the differences that have happened seeing what has taken place since then um you know i i i can see the positives now um more than i could and as i said there's still negatives i still see that but it, it it's a journey that i can see the path now and I, I feel a lot better for it and if i can help other people feel that way and get to that stage then i'll be it um but everyone is different um what works for me and not work for you. I can only tell you what's worked for me and hopefully see how things go for yourself. Um, but yeah, by all means, you know, what I started to do is I used to keep a little diary. Um, and then I'd, 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 before I went to bed, I'd think for a positive of the day. And I said, it doesn't have to be big, just something positive, something that made you smile. Maybe you, you saw an animal you liked. Uh, you know, maybe a cat ran by or a dog passed by and you think, oh, look at the dog, it's cute. And you could just hone in on that happy memory of that day and just jot it down. I saw a dog. Um, and then just, you know, maybe try each night, sit down and jot down a positive. Uh, and you'll find that that will help at night stop the negative thoughts as your brain will be honed in on trying to remember the positives. Um, but yeah, uh, no, you need the meds to stop. Meds. Absolutely, yeah. As I say, it's one of those things where obviously your condition is different. So I can't be 100% with what I've said. And if you need the meds to help, you need the meds to help. But don't feel ashamed that you need to be on meds. Um, I used to work in a pharmacy. <laughs> a lot, a lot of people are on medicine. Uh, and a lot of people who you'd look at and you think, wow, they're living a successful life. They may not be. They, they could be on a bucket load of meds um, for many, many things. Um so yeah, never feel ashamed that you've got to be on meds. Um, and thank you for the um, hydrate and posture saver. Hmm. So yeah, sorry about that. Um, I kind of went a little bit um, off track. Um, so yeah, uh, let's, let's go back to something uh, <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing, which is art. <laughs> um, oh, crap. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Um... I think it's like the first time I've ever really chatted about that a lot on stream. Um, so yeah, apologies if anyone who didn't realise what I'd been through or anything like that. Or anyone who's watching this, if you know Twitch doesn't come along and go, oh my god, you're talking about suicide, get rid of it! That irritates the hell out of me. Um, I, it's one of those things where I feel that if suicide was less of a stigma, you know, people could talk about it, then you probably would have less people trying to commit it because, you know, you could talk about it. But hey, what do I know? Um, but yeah, uh, as I said, from my experience, talking to people has been one of the things to do. 
um, because it's a free, easy, accessible thing that you can do. Um, and I said, if you, you don't have anyone who you think you can easily chat to, you know, if you, your friends don't know about your situation or anything like that, or you don't want to bother them with it, you know, find like a local charitable help group. Like I said, we've got the Samaritans here. Um, and just give them a ring. Just voice what's going through your mind and let them know. And you might find that as you're talking to them, you go, hang on a second. Um, and worst case scenario, um, if you find that's not helping, you know, there is always medical help. Um, one of the other issues I used to have was I used to hate the idea of going to the doctors because I thought it was a waste of time. You know, the, the negative side of me was, oh, I'm just taking up the time doing this. You know, they could be helping people who need it. Despite knowing full well that we used to have some customers in the pharmacy who they'd be regulars at the doctors because it was the only person they could talk to. You know, they didn't have family or friends, so they'd go to the doctors. You know, they'd, they'd find something that could be wrong with them and then go to the doctors to chat because that was the only way they could speak to people. Um... And then, you know, I used to wonder why it took like an hour to see my doctor. Uh, plus, I used to have a really good doctor. Um, he uh, unfortunately found better work elsewhere. Uh, don't blame him. You know, I never blame anyone who, who finds better jobs and better things for themselves. But he was a great doctor. Um... Bless him, when he found out that I'd attempted suicide, he was... He was upset. Um, and I don't just mean in like a, a disappointed upset. I mean, he was generally upset. He felt he'd failed because he hadn't stopped it. And I was like, well, not really. So technically, it was my workplace. Um, my perceived notion of the workplace, I should say. The way that I felt the company was going at the time. Uh, bearing in mind that at the time of my suicide attempt was the middle of the lockdown pandemic and everything. Um, so... Uh, Things weren't running smooth at that time for a majority of the population, I'd probably say. Um, you know, finding out that one of my friends had, uh, who I used to work with him in the uh, arrears department when I did that, and that was a soul crushing job. But he'd finally gone back to his home country to stay with his family. Because he was worried about them. And then he ended up catching Rona. And he ended up dying because they didn't have healthcare. And he wasn't much older than I was. That was a kick to the teeth. Um, but, you know. It's... I'm just, in a way, I'm kind of happy that he managed to see his... Uh, his family and his back where he felt happier. Because he wasn't happy working at our place. It was a shell. Um, working in the arrears department was a soul, soul crushing job. Um, but yeah, it was such a shame. So yeah, we, we kind of got it lucky, really, ourselves. Because we have... A relatively decent healthcare system when the Tories aren't trying to fuck it up. Um, uh, yep, no worries, no worries, Oliver. You you go sort yourself out. Um, uh, yeah. I'll be all right in a minute. I'm, uh, I'm going to go up to nine. Um, just to uh, normal end time for streams and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it, it's just 
a lot of things. Um, and it's not just all stuff that happened to me. It's, like I said, it's trying to help other people. And it, it's annoying to know that I can't. And I have to remember that, that I can't. I'm, I'm not able to assist other people in the way that I wish I could. So anything that I can do, you know, I want to be able to. Um, and it's just hearing other people struggle. And I'm just like, I, I want them to know that it's it's not the end of everything. Um, as much as it feels that way. Uh, the best thing that the counsellor did to explain it, um, which... It depends on how easy you find this kind of stuff to envision, if you will. Um, but she said, you know, do you treat life as like, if you look at life as a ruler. So you've got a, let's say a one metre long ruler. And you've got your measurement increments in millimetres and stuff like that. And each millimetre you could say is, you know, a year of your life. And she's like, how much of that ruler would this particular incident, this incident that set you off on this day, how much of that ruler would it take up? And when you sit down and you think on it, you think you wouldn't even see it over the markings. You know, it's such a tiny snap. And then you look at the entire ruler and you sort of say, you've got up to here. You've now got to make your way up to here at the end. And you're trying to cut the ruler at this point. And you don't know what's happening on the rest of it. And it, that was one of those where, because my brain does well with that kind of stuff, I could quite easily see what she meant. And, yeah, it's... I just don't want people to feel like they have to cut that ruler short, if you will. Um, you know, I want them to experience everything. Because, you know, as I said, I never would have thought I'd ever do streaming. And uh, here I am. Streaming away. Sometimes it's interesting. At the times I'm driving trucks. <laughs> um, but it's, at the end of the day, it helps me keep in contact with folks. You know, I've probably been more social streaming than I've ever been off. <laughs> I, I have always struggled with being social. Um, which, if you look at me at conventions, you think, nah, you, you fight them. No, I, I, I panic. Um, conventions are a way of hiding that because I get to dress up silly and do daft things. Um, it allows me to hide the panic that tends to run through me. Um, and the annoying thing is, is, you know, since the whole overdose incident, it's become harder to hide the actual physical side effects of that. Um, you know, I've been undergoing therapy and stuff to help with the shakes I get. The anxiety when it kicks in, it used to be it just kicked in. Now the anxiety kicks in and my arms start to twitch and I, I start to physically show signs of it. Um, and I'm getting better at controlling it. Again, it's a long road. Uh, I have to tackle these things. Um, but yeah, it was definitely after 2020, I, I was struggling. Um, you know, it, just very physically shaking twitching could not hold straight um, and it's the other reason I don't want people to think oh, I'm going to try the suicide gig and see what happens because the, your mind might be ready to go but your body isn't your body will fight tooth and nail to get you through and then you come through the other side and you generally will be more messed up than you went in so if I can prevent someone getting to that point all the better. Um, you know, if my ramblings about what happened to me make someone go, I'm going to seek help instead of, you know, trying to kill myself and, oh dear, I've, I've survived, but now I've got issues that make me feel worse about myself that I'm now going to have to have counselling for and all sorts. Um, so, uh, you know, if I can stop people getting to that stage... I'll, I'll, I'll pour my heart about the shit that's happened to me. Um, I'm getting better. I have to keep reminding myself that, though. Um, so, you know, it's one of these things where the counsellor did a... It's like one of these review charts where you say, over the past two weeks, on a scale of 1 to 10, you've got to rate 
bits and bobs and it's like you know how many times did you want to kill yourself and all those sort of jars and how many days did you think about killing yourself um and uh, we did one and basically the higher the score the worse off you are um in terms of like being a danger to yourself and when she did it shortly after my suicide attempt uh it was like a month or so afterwards i was 38 at 40 um so not in a good place and uh, when she did it, uh, it wasn't last month, it was a month before. When she did it then, I was down to, I think it was four and a half. And she hadn't, you know, she'd done a few in between, but she hadn't really been doing too many of them. And she just basically, she pulled out the old ones and she said, right, so here's your scores. And she says, I'm going to skip all the ones in between. I'm just going to tell you the score from 2020. And she says, I'm going to tell you your score now. And it was just that difference, the, you know, 38 to like four and a half. And that was only because I'd had a really bad week because of the uh, flat lays. So, you know, it could potentially be even better. Uh, back with a cup of tea. Ah, uh, that's, that's great. Important question. How do you take your tea? White two sugars? White none? There's no right or wrong answer to this, by the way. I'm just, you know, I'm just a curious British sod. Myself, I'm white, no sugar. And as my friend calls it, a Julie Andrews, a white nun. Although at work, I am more of a Wookiee Goldberg. Because I can't be bothered to buy milk in work. Because it always gets drunk by somebody else and I'm sick to death of it. So I just have black tea. Uh, uh, it's, it's technically white because I put milk in there, kind of, okay? I just like it, you know, slightly dark looking white it's just uh, as I say a splash of milk um, but yeah thanks everyone for the, the obviously the thoughts of you know if I need to talk you know it, it's yeah um, it's appreciated I say because sometimes it could be I just need to talk just to clear my head of other things um, but yeah, it's, uh, so it's good to have folks around. Oh, oh, sugar, is that my, oh, that is my, oh, it's problems wearing headphones, I can't even bloody think. Uh, right, I'll just quickly finish this up. Mostly because I'm, I'm, I'm in that groove at the minute. I want to just get this part done and then save it this time. If I don't save it, then at least I've got it on stream. I know what I did. <laughs> so if I have to come back and do it again, I know what I'm doing. Uh, uh, Off-white. Yeah, off-white is a colour. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, oh, thank you, banana. I just want to come and give you a big hug now. Bigger hug. Did I do this side? I did do this side. Oh, no, I didn't do it fully. Let's. Oh, fuck, I pressed the Windows key. Didn't want to press the Windows key. advantage to having the headphones in is I've got music playing. Uh, one of my favourite songs from Macross has just popped on, so I'm like, yeah! 
I've now just got to remember not to try and sing along to it because I can't sing. <laughs> and that's not me being negative. That's me being truthful. <laughs> uh, I've unfortunately got video evidence of me doing karaoke in Japan. Um, I was drunk at the time. I'll give it that. But it's still... Oh, it's cringeworthy. But as a young kid, I thought it was brilliant. Uh, yeah, no, no. It was far from it. Far from it. Uh. <laughs> October when, yeah. <laughs> And yeah, Saber is very good. Yeah. Saber is very good at making sure that I've been okay after a busy day. Always seems to know what kind of image to post to cheer me up as well, so... It is always appreciated. I may not speak much about it on the Discord because I might just be absolutely shattered, but it is always appreciated. Oh, and annoyingly, I've got highlights to go. But I'll leave it there for now. Because I need to take a break. I need to sort my chores out and everything. Oh. Right. Anyway, I shall call it there then. Uh, but yes, I hope she's progressing well enough for you, Fanana. I will crack on more with this. Um... I'm hoping to be able to get some more done on Saturday. Uh, I've got counselling in the morning, but, you know, drawing can just help me switch off from that, so I'm probably just going to sit and do a bit more then. Um, oh, yes, I'm glad you glad you like how she looks so far. Um, but, yeah, I aim to be on tomorrow with some form of game. Um, as I said, I haven't quite decided yet. I'll see what happens. Um, I'll see what else when I get back. That's the next big thing. Because I can make plans all I want, but then I get back home from work, and depending on the day I've had, my brain is just either shut down, doesn't want to do anything, or, you know, it's like, okay, we're going to do this, this, and then I've got to see what happens. Um, so, you know, thinking positive, I will be on tomorrow. I, I like to try and make sure I'm on on the Fridays, at least. Um, and then Saturday should hopefully be uh, some co-op streaming. Um... Then next week, uh, I might try changing up my schedule a bit because um, Subasa is looking to do like an anime watch along club uh, on Thursdays because it's the only day that pretty much everybody else has free. So I'm hoping to be able to join him on that. So I'm hoping to start moving to a Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. Um, we'll see how that goes. I'll try and remember to go and be on on Tuesday. Um, oh, feeling that will be on next Wednesday, but yeah, weekdays I always try and stream around about 7 pm. Um, you know, give or take brain working. Um, and then Saturdays is my 9 pm. Um, actually, before I log out, let's just see is there anyone? It's a trouble, I've now got technically three screens running. I'm trying to find the bloody mouse cursor. It's like it's hidden somewhere because it's J Station streaming. Yes, yes, he is. So I'm going to get the rig going into his uh, City Skylines uh, stream because that is very chill. So if you just want to sit back, chill, and, you know, watch someone build a fantastical city, this is the stream for you. Um, I've also learned quite a few things watching it as well, uh, how the game works, which I never knew. Um, but it's a very chill game. Uh, chill game, chill stream. Um, he is also one of the innkeeps uh, of the Stumbled Inn, which is the Discord I'm part of, um, where I am one of their bards uh, as such, so I have my own little area to chat with folks. Um, so yeah, I'll get the raid started up now. Um, if you do wish to join me, that'd be absolutely fantastic. However, I appreciate it. it may not be everyone's cup of tea, so, you know, yeah, if you... Uh, I'll just say thank you very much for coming and watching me do art and ramble on. Um, it's been great having everyone here. Um, absolutely 
great having everyone here to be honest uh i'm glad you've all stuck around and listened to me uh ramble um and i do hope everyone everyone does have a you know fantastic evening um and i'll say it again positive thinking is tough but you can get there so if you managed to do something whilst during the stream where I said something funny and you've giggled or whatnot, just remember that. That'll be a positive. Um, anyway, I've done enough rambling. I'll get the raid going. So again, thank you very much to everyone, whoever you are, wherever you are, whenever you are. It's been a pleasure having you, and I look forward to catching you on the next one. Until then, toodles. <laughs>